Welcome back into the Hurley Football School. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Trent. In today's installment, I'm going to be creating a brand new playlist, Football for the Intermediate. Today's title will be Why the Defense Can't Be Right. That's right, no matter what the defense does, no matter what coverage, no matter what blitz, no matter what they do, the defense cannot be right, okay? So first off, I gotta give a shout out to my high school, the Greensboro Central Catholic Centurions. I graduated there in 2010. It's about a half hour outside of the Pittsburgh area. And in my senior year, we won the WPIAL, which is the Western Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic League for the first time in school history. So I just had a t-shirt on, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to my high school, okay? Um, so I do believe that this is one of the most important videos, if not the most important video, that I will ever have on this channel. All right, I have to give a shout out or give credit to my quarterback coach from my junior year who taught me this. And his name is Coach John Perry, and he's actually with the Houston Texans now. Okay, so with this lesson, he really challenged me to start thinking about the quarterback position in a more abstract way, in a more critical thinking way by watching film and understanding the tendencies, okay? And not just, if I got fooled on a play, not just saying, oh, well, the defense got me there. That's not how you become a better quarterback, okay? Whatever the defense did to me in that play where they got me, well, why? It's your job as the quarterback to say, okay, well, what's this problem? Find the solution, find the puzzle, find the missing puzzle piece, okay? That's your job. And he would always just tell, used to tell me, it's not a problem if you know it's a problem, okay? So whatever the defense did, you know, if they were running a cover two defense, what's the problem? It's a cover two defense. I'll come up to the line of scrimmage. I know the defense already. Well, what play do I have? Say a curl flat combination. Well, for my previous channel or my previous videos, a uh, curl flat combination is a terrible route combination to run versus a cover two defense. So that's the problem, okay? Well, it's not a problem anymore because I know it's a problem. It's your job, fix it, all right? So, and just to further drill, or just to further illustrate the point about why this is such an important video, or why I think that, you know, you'll elevate your game from here to here if you can really understand this stuff, is my junior year, or excuse me, my sophomore year, I had a pass rating of 120.74. My junior year, after this, I had a pass rating of 155.20. All right, so without further ado, let's get into why the defense can't be great. All right, well, to start off, we have eight zones, five in the second level, three in the third level. You have your deep third, middle third, deep third, your flat, your curl, your hook, your curl, and your flat. Okay, this will all be in a 4-3 defense. So that means you have four down linemen. You have 11 players on the field minus your four down linemen. So that means you have seven players. As you can see, you have eight zones. Well, you only have seven players, all right? You have, in a cover two defense, you have your safety here, your safety here. So you're splitting the difference. You have two defenders to cover three zones. And then you have your corner in the flat, your linebacker in the curl, your linebacker in the hook, your linebacker in the curl and your corner in the flat okay so I hope that you can see where the defense is weak at all right that's how you identify the problem okay and that and that's how you become a good quarterback or a good football player in general you know whatever defense that they give you you identify the weak spots of the defense so you have to understand where the defense wants you to go versus where you should go okay and where's the defense weak at? Well, the defense is weak here, here, and here, okay? So let's start off with a basic curl flat combination. And as I just said, it's a terrible combination to run versus defense, and I'll show you why, okay? So your outside receiver, inside receiver, Inside receiver, outside receiver. Your inside receiver is going to run the flats. Your outside receiver is going to run the curls, okay? Well, I hope that you can see from this illustration that, you know, your inside receiver is running the flats. Well, guess who's there? Your corner's there. Your outside receiver is running the, running the curl. Well, guess who's there? Your linebacker's there. You have no window to throw, okay? 
So what happens, or what's the problem? Identify the problem. Well, this is a terrible combination to run with this defense. So what do good quarterbacks do? What do good offenses do? What do good receivers do? They understand that you can't run this play versus this defense, all right? I got caught in this play during um, one of my seasons at Delaware. And at the time, I didn't have the ability to change the play. And we ran this play versus cover two. And guess what happened? I tore a muscle in my hip from about here to here. It was straight black and blue, OK? That's why you have to be a smart player. That's why you have to be a smart quarterback. Because when you get in these situations and you just blindly go about it, you end up getting hurt, all right? So, like I said, what happens with good defenses or good offenses? What happens with good quarterback, good receivers? Well, they change his curl into a corner. So, from my past couple videos, football for beginners, I've mentioned that a corner flat combination is great for a cover two defense. Why? Because now you're stressing these corners. And a corner has to decide do I want to stay up here and take this flat? or go back here and take this corner, okay? This is how you become good, guys. This is how you watch film. This is how you draw up plays. Any play that you're thinking about running, draw it up. You wanna have different receivers in different zones, okay? Um, so if you really wanna get adventurous and run a, run a five wide receiver set here, just your tight end, you can run him down the middle of the field, all right? So now what happens? Well, say your corner jumps here. And say your safeties really get out here to cover this corner. All right, well, guess what? The middle of the field is wide open now, and your tight end's going to be running down the middle of the field. So that's where you go. Okay, well, what happens if this corner pinches a little bit, and this corner stays, and this corner jumps the flat? Well, now you throw the corner ball. Okay. Now this corner stays. This corner goes back, and now you throw this flat. It's really as simple as that, guys. Most people don't like throwing the flat just because, oh, it's not a sexy route to throw, oh, it's only a three yard completion. Well, guess what? Second and seven is better than second and 10, all right? You never go broke from taking a profit, and that is the exact mentality you have to have as a quarterback. You are a manager of the game. You don't have to play hero ball all the time, okay? Take what's there. Don't try, there are certain situations later in the game that you really have to push the ball down the field, but throughout the majority of the game, you take what's open, okay? So don't try to force anything. So that's exactly how you go through every single play that you run versus every single defense, okay? And that's a cover two. So once again, the weaknesses of the cover two defense are here, here, here. No matter what they try to do with this defense, there are seven players versus eight zones. They can't be right. Okay, well now let's move on to the cover three. And I'll show you the exact curl, uh, the curl flat combination. All right. So let me just take a second to erase all of this to get it looking okay. Because um, I have to erase all of these positions because they are going to be in different spots for the cover three defense. All right. get the idea that that doesn't fall on me. Zones are the same spot. All right. So now in the cover three defense, you have your corner in the deep third, safety, middle third, corner, deep third. Your safety between flat in the curl, linebacker between the curl and the hook, linebacker between the curl and the hook, and a, your third linebacker between the flat and the curl, okay? So where are the def or where are the weaknesses of this defense? And I hope you guys are able to see based on this that the weaknesses of this defense are underneath. Why? Because you have four or four defenders to cover five zones. The weaknesses are here, 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 and here. Now once you really get good, you start having a little bit stronger arm, you can start throwing balls on a rope. You have here 
and here you you have a lot of teams run four verticals uh, versus a cover three defense because it really stretches these corners and this safety and you know you'll have you know Aaron Rodgers is great at it or Tom Brady's great at it with uh, Rob Gronkowski where he'll send Gronk down the center of the here and they'll have a linebacker on he'll throw it right over top of the linebacker's head and Gronk will catch it up high so that's all this is he's taking advantage of that weakness in this defense okay so once again let's draw up that a curl flat combination, either outside receiver, inside receiver, inside receiver, outside receiver. Your inside receivers are running the flats. Your outside receivers are running the curls, okay? So as I mentioned, the cover or the curl flat combination, terrible versus cover two, great against the cover three. Why? Because the, now you're just stretching this linebacker or this safety. So the linebacker either has to buzz and get cover that flat linebacker safety has to buzz and cover that flat or he has to stay put and cover the curl stay put and cover the curl and it's really as simple as that you just do, you just basically do whatever the opposite of what he does if he stays here throw the flat if he buzzes out you're throwing the curl okay so that's basically all there is to it guys it's it's very simple once you can start understanding once you can grasp it and once you take the challenge of saying, I'm not gonna be fooled by the defense, okay? Well, what happens, what's the problem in this defense, all right? Well, what happens if this backer buzzes and this backer buzzes? Well, you know, they, they want you to get fooled and just try to, oh, you see this backer buzzing, so they wanna, they want you to try to throw it here and they'll rob this, okay? Or, you know, defenses will get crazy where this safety will drop down in the middle of the field and this, these guys will buzz, you know? So there's a lot of different things that can happen that basically just turns into a cover two. But a lot of that is from film study and the tendencies of the defense because they're just not gonna pull a defense like that out of thin air. They're not, you know, that's the defense you're gonna be able to see on film, you're gonna be able to prepare, prepare for, okay? So once again, it's not a problem if you know it's a problem. Well, how do you know it's a problem? You know it's a problem by coming up to the line and knowing the defense, all right? Know the defense they're in. And I'll tell you how to know defense in a future video. And then the second part is know your play. You guys, you gotta know your play like the back of your hand. That is your job as a quarterback. You have to know where to go in cover two. You have to know where to go in cover three. You have to know where to go if they blitz. You have to know all these certain things. And you can't go up to the line thinking, okay, well, what am I gonna do here if this happens? No. You have to have complete control at all times and know at all times what to do, no matter what happens. And that comes from repetition, practice, watching film, getting out there and doing it. You know, if they're running the cover two, you gotta be able to tell your receiver, if you have a curl flat combination going on, you gotta tell your outside receiver, hey, whatever code that you guys come up with, uh, whatever is good for your offense, say, hey, black, 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 that means convert that curl into a corner. Or if you want to have a C word, country, country, country. You know, it's really as simple as that, guys. You know, so once again, you have eight zones, seven players, no matter what defense they run, they can't be right. It's your job as a quarterback to figure it out, okay? You are the leader of the ship, you are the general. Figure it out. Figure that must missing puzzle piece. Figure out the solution, all right? So once again, Credit goes to Coach John Perry because this is a phenomenal lesson. And once you take the challenge of sitting down and saying, hey, the defense isn't gonna fool me. And if they do, well, it's on you. You failed yourself, okay? Take that challenge and I promise you, your game will go from here to here, all right? Watch a lot of film, do everything that you can to make yourself a better player. All right, so I hope you guys like this video. I hope you learned something because once again, I really do believe in this stuff. And I think the proof is in the pudding by you know my passer rating going up 35 points after I really took the challenge of saying, hey, this is my team, this is my career. It's not anybody else's. It doesn't matter what the defense does. You know, it's on me to be as prepared as possible to put myself in a great situation, okay? so. Once again, you know, if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up button, drop a comment below if you have any questions, or if you want to see a future video, let me know if you have any questions. 
drop a comment and I will get those answered to you. You know, I'm all about trying to teach people and this is the reason I wanted to do this channel is just because I feel like I have a lot of information that I can give and I want to give that back, all right? So, you know, I hope that you guys, once again, I hope you guys like this video and, um, you know, I hope that you learn to play quarterback, quarterback like a Hurley by, you know, when in doubt, go deep. See you guys.